What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, athletenext.com. So today I'm gonna to answer the question for you, which version of the pushdown is best when you're trying to build bigger triceps? I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually a mind reader. And a few times in this video, I'm gonna read your mind exactly of what you're thinking, okay? Let's start. First of all, you're thinking, what the hell is Jeff doing in a tank top? You know you were thinking that. And where can I get that killer tank top? Well, you actually can't get it over at athletenext.com because we don't have tank tops. We have t-shirts that I cut the sleeves off of to create tank tops. We don't have hoodies. We don't have sweatpants. We don't have shorts. Oh, by the way, speaking of shorts, what we do have is a brand new Athlete X shorts channel. Athlete X videos in 60 seconds or less. You're going to want to make sure you go over there, check it out, and subscribe. That being said, I digress here, guys. What I want you to do is figure out, though, what pushdown is best for you. And to do that, we all have to be able to do something that we could do right now without having to be in front of a machine to test it out. And let's stand up, and I want you to straighten your arms, palms down, towards the ground, create a hard tricep contraction just like this. Okay, hold it for about two or three seconds. The next thing I want you to do now is take your arms, shake them out, underhand now, palms up, and I want you to bring your arms down and contract your triceps as hard as possible. So now I'm gonna mind read again because I know what's going on in your head right now. What you're thinking is, why the hell did I stop doing the underhand grip pushdown? Because I feel that a lot more than I do the overhand grip. And there's actually a reason for it. And I actually know what else is going through your mind. Here's the third time. You're actually thinking to yourself, I stopped doing this because I was told that anatomically it doesn't even matter whether I'm in pronation or supination. That doesn't impact the triceps. How am I doing on, on these mind reading things right now, guys? Probably pretty good. Well, you were told good information because there is no impact on the triceps whether or not we're supinated or pronated, or so we think. See, the biceps, if I'm in this position here and I pronate or supinate, you can see that it impacts the contraction of the biceps because they're attached to the radius. But with the triceps being attached to the ulna, it doesn't matter whether I'm in supination or pronation. Or again, like I said, so you think. Because if I get into an overhand grip pushdown or whether I get into an underhand grip pushdown, something major happened that you maybe didn't even see. If I get here and I were to go into isolated pronation or isolated supination, then yeah, that doesn't impact the tricep at all. But we don't do things that way. We're a kinetic chain. What we do is we move more than just the forearm when we do supination and pronation. And when we do that, you can see that we've impacted some other things. We brought in internal rotation to the shoulder when we did the pronation and external rotation when we went to supination. And we also have an impact here, most importantly, on the elbow and its position related to my body. If we keep our elbow tucked nice and tight and our arm back, we're going to get the long head of the tricep. That big meaty area in the back here, the one responsible for the most size, we're gonna get a better full contraction on that head of the tricep as opposed to when our arm's out in front of our body and the elbow is drifting. So you're probably already thinking, well, I'm already going in the direction then of the underhand pushdown. Well, you're right. When I'm in this position here, if the elbows drift even just a little bit, and we've probably seen the guys that do this too and really bastardize it, but just the drifting of the elbow a little bit and the fact that the arms are a little bit out in front of the body is going to limit the impact on the long head of the tricep. When I flip underhand like this, you can see that the elbow is going to get tighter, and when I get down into contraction, the elbow is going to be a little bit further back behind the body. I will prove that to you one more time that you don't just do this in isolation because if you did do this, and you could try this yourself, you can see that you get stopped here. Pronation at the forearm doesn't allow me to get all the way down, flat. So how do I get down flat enough to grab the bar? Well, that means I gotta substitute at the shoulder and let the elbow flare out to be able to grab that bar with the palms down grip anyway. So if there is a limitation to the underhand push down, it's the fact that this can still be a little bit demanding on the wrist with the underhand grip. So what you do is you simply take away the straight bar and you just attach two single handles. And before you start saying, I'm going to read your mind one more time, but Jeff, I don't have a push down machine. How could I do this? Well, you attach two bands to a pull up bar and you grab hold of a band in each hand just like that. Or if you're doing this at a gym on a cable machine, you grab the left handle with the right arm and the right handle with the left arm. And then we get into this position here where we open up and we press down and back. Okay, now, this is gonna bring in that second point. When you were saying to yourself, I can't lift a lot of weight on the, on the underhand version, and therefore I shouldn't do it because I'm not stressing the triceps as much as I can. Well, guess what? The reason why you can't do as much weight there is because the overhand version of the tricep pushdown is incorporating a lot of other muscles to the task. When I get in this position here, I've got the chest contributing, I've got the shoulders contributing, and I've got the abs contributing to that movement. We don't want that if we're really trying to hypertrophy the triceps. 
looking for inefficiency, taking some of the muscles out. If it's just strength that you're looking for, then by all means, load up the tricep pushdown and do that. But you should be doing the other exercises for that. You all should be doing the tricep close grip bench press. You all should be doing tricep weighted dips. You all should be doing skull crushers. That makes the overhand version of this redundant. If you want to introduce a new stress, you go underhand here and you account for the things that are lacking right now from your overhand dominant push down based tricep training routine. So guys, I hope you found the video helpful. If you haven't already done so guys, make sure you click subscribe, not just to this channel, but to the Athlete Next Shorts channel as well. Remember, Athlete Next videos in 60 seconds or less. If you're looking for a program guys, where we put the science into all the selections of the exercises we do because as you can see here, it matters. You can find them over at athletenext.com. And guys, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below. Tell me what I'm gonna cover in a future video and I'll do my best to do that. All right guys, see you soon.